Okay, in this video we're going to look at the notion of a pseudo prime number. And so, in fact, we're going to look at a special type of pseudo prime number called the Fermat pseudo prime. Um, so let's recall Fermat's little theorem says that if you have a prime p and a number that's relatively prime to p, a to the p minus 1 um, is congruent to 1 mod p. And so that gives us this motivation. We say that n is a, is a base a pseudo prime if a to the n minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod n. So um, let's just like see maybe why it would be called a pseudo prime because it acts like um, something having to do with Fermat's little theorem, but in fact it uh, may not be a prime number. Uh, so let's look at an example. So an example, so 561, which is equal to 3 times 11 times 17 is a base 2 pseudo prime. So let's check that. So we need to look at 2 to the power 560. And what we'll do is look at this mod all of these individual components of uh, the number 561. So notice that this is equal to 2 to the power 2 to the power 280. But 2 to the 2 is congruent to 1 mod 3 by Fermat's little theorem. So that means this whole thing is congruent to 1 mod 3. Again, by Fermat's little theorem with 3 being the prime. Next, we want to look at 2 to the 560, which is equal to uh, 2 to the 10 to the 56. And again, because 11 is a prime and 2 is uh, relatively prime to 11, 2 to the 10 is congruent to 1 mod 11, which means 2 to the 10 to the 56 is 1 to the 56, which is 1 mod 11, again, by Fermat's little theorem. Great, and finally, we have 2 to the 560 is going to be 2 to the 16 to the power 15. Good. Um, and again, 2 to the 16 is congruent to 1 mod 17 by Fermat's little theorem. So this whole thing is 1 mod 17. <clears throat> Good, and now putting all of these things together, so if 2 to the 560 is 1 mod 3, 2 to the 560 is 1 mod 11, and 2 to the 560 is 1 mod um, 17, then it follows that 2 to the 560 is congruent to 1 mod 561. In other words, uh, 561 is a base 2 pseudo prime. Okay, let's look at another example. So the next example is 85, which equals 5 times 17 is a base 4 pseudo prime. But not a base 2 pseudo prime. So I think it's interesting that this one is a base 4 pseudo prime, but not a base 2 pseudo prime. So that's why I'm including it as an example. Okay, so let's look at this. So we'll take 4 to the 84. And so we can write that as 4 to the 4 to the power 21. And then we know 4 to the 4 is congruent to 1 mod 5, again by Fermat's little theorem. So this whole thing is uh, 1 to the 21, which is 1 mod 5. Good. And now we'll work mod 17. So uh, let's do that. So we'll do um, 4 to the 84. And so if we work uh, mod 17, I'm actually going to use a little bit different of a trick here. So this is equal to 4 squared to the 42, which is equal to 16 to the 42. 
But now 16 is congruent to negative 1 mod 17. So that means this is equal to negative 1 to the 42, which is congruent to 1 mod 17. So there I use the fact that 16 is congruent to negative 1 mod 17. Good. So all this together, these two facts tell us that 4 to the 84 is congruent to 1 mod the product of 5 and 17, which is 18, sorry, 85, which means that 85 is a base 4 pseudo prime. Okay, good. So now let's show why um, it's not a base 2 pseudo prime. So nothing will go wrong here. What will go wrong in this is in this type of uh, equation. So now let's look at 2 to the 84. And notice that 2 to the 84 um, is equal to 2 to the 4 to the 21. But now 2 to the 4 is equal to 16 to the 21. And now you can see where the problem is creeping up. Again, 16 is congruent to negative 1 mod 17. So here we have negative 1 to the 21 mod 17. But now we have negative 1 to an odd power, which is clearly going to be negative 1 mod 17, which is itself 16 mod 17. Good. So now, in fact, we can put this together. I won't check, but you can check that 2 to the 84 is congruent to 1 mod 5. You can use the same trick with for Ma's little theorem. And so, in fact, what we have is 2 to the 84 is congruent to 16 mod 85, which is not 1 mod 85. So that means it's not a base 2 pseudo prime. Okay, this is the end of these examples.